Michael Mad Mike Hoare, widely considered the world's best-known mercenary, has died. At the age of 100, he fought a series of campaigns in the Congo and was later jailed for an unsuccessful coup in the Seychelles. The BBC's Tim Allman looks back at his life and a colourful career. The early 1960s and a country that was tearing itself apart. Following independence, the Republic of the Congo descended into a period of upheaval, unrest and violence. Playing no small part, this man, Michael Hoare. A former major in the British Army, he was hired as a mercenary to take on a communist-backed rebellion in the country. His methods were often extreme, earning him the nickname Mad Mike. And he ended up being the inspiration for the film The Wild Geese, Richard Burton playing a character based on Michael Hoare. Then, in the early 1980s, he set his sights on the Seychelles. He and a group of fellow mercenaries entered the country with AK-47s in their luggage. Dubbed the package holiday coup, it ended in failure. And although Hall was later jailed, he remained philosophical. Uh, when we proved, I think, our bona fides, that we were to be trusted, we've been put together in a single cell and... Uh, no problems, the guards are very nice, our door's not even locked down. Born in India to Irish parents in 1919, Michael Hoare fought in the Second World War. His son said his father lived by the philosophy that you get more out of life by living dangerously. So it is all the more remarkable that he lived more than 100 years. Tim Ormond on the most stream, Michael Mad Mike Hoare, who's died at the age of 100.